Hey guys, so welcome to College Dorm Hall Part 2 because... 2, 4? Because you guys seem to really like the first one and I've bought a crap ton of things since that last video. So, so, I don't even know where to begin because I've been to so many different places and I've gotten so many different things and ignore the awful camera angle. I'm using my table tripod and like this is the highest it will tilt upward. I think it's crooked too. I guess I'll show you some actual school supplies first. My mom got me a Bugs Bunny flash drive from Staples. <laughs> this was actually $15, but like I thought it was $10, but that was actually another flash drive I was looking at. So when it rang up for $15, I, was, I told the cashier I thought it was $10, and he like overrode it and put it in as $10, and then I looked and it was actually $15, so oops. I got a cat clipboard. <laughs> oh, my mom bought it for me. And I got these from Walmart, actually. They were like 97 cents each, and they had matching folders, and they were so cute and preppy, and I just could not turn them down. They're little notebooks, and they're kind of floppy, but they're really cute, and I go through notebooks really fast anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. I got this Vera Bradley binder of like a really old pattern at like an antique store for like $2 or something. I don't know, but like who can't use a binder, especially when it's plaid and cute. I got Clorox wipes so I can clean and disinfect everything in fresh scent and then this actually came in a three pack for seven dollars when these were three dollars each so we're keeping two at home and then I get one I got Benadryl and Tums and a whole bunch of stuff so I can have my own medicine cabinet and then I love this stain stick I bought this one for home it's an oxyclean max force pre-treater gel stick and it has like these little nubs on the top so you can actually like scrub out the stain before you even have to wash it but if it won't come out with those little scrubby things, I could sit there for like 10 minutes just scrubbing something out. It's just so much fun. It smells really good. Um, but if you can't get it out, you can just throw it in the wash and the stain won't be a problem. I also got a Tide to go because as you can tell, I'm like constantly dropping food on my clothes and I don't even know what happens. But I, I'm prone to stains, I guess. And I got this really cool hippie, what's this called? laundry detergent. My mom and I literally spent like 15 minutes in the laundry aisle just looking at everything. This is 50 ounces but you get 66 loads so it's four times concentrated. Seventh generation natural laundry detergent in geranium blossoms and vanilla and I usually get um, unscented because ooh, it bothers me but this actually smells really good. It's Leaping Bunny so it's animal friendly and it's, it's in a cardboard compostable container. How cool is that? How cool is this? It's like $14, but the other one was, um, the one I almost got was half as much, but it's half as concentrated, so it's really the same thing. I just won't have to buy it as often. I can smell it all through the package, and it smells really good, so I thought it was worth it to get a nice laundry detergent. Fabric softener tape, because it was on sale. And I just ran out of this shave gel, and it's the best shave gel in the entire world. It's the EOS Vanilla Bliss shave wet or dry and it has these cool little thumbprints literally i've gotten so many compliments on the softness of my legs and normally i suck at shaving so it never happens but this smells so good and it's so creamy and i love it so i got this again in the same exact scent because i loved it so much i don't even know i got so many things i'm probably not even going to show them all but basically what i did is when i was on vacation in michigan um we went to bath and body works because i still needed a mattress protector or something um but obviously I didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff there because I would have to take it on the plane home with me and it's not anywhere near where I go to school. So they have this thing, it's like a wedding registry kind of, it's called like pack and hold. Um, I'm posting this really late, like I'm moving in in two days. So by the time this is edited and up I'll probably like be in my dorm and everyone else will probably have moved in already. But it's really cool, like you can, they give you a scanner and you go around scanning things and it's really addicting, so be careful. Um, but you do that and then you can say what store is near to where you live and then you go to that store, which I did today, and then they have everything in shopping carts ready for you and then you just wheel it out and then you can buy everything. So it's really cool. I'll show you the stuff I got there. I got two of these under the bed um, rolling thingies for like clothes and blankets and I don't even know. And they're good for bringing stuff with you because they fit so much in here. So um, first thing I got, so it's $10. It's a Real Simple Solutions drawer organizer and it has 32 compartments. Basically just a beehive. So I thought this would be good for like an underwear drawer, like a t-shirt drawer. You can just roll up your clothes. So I thought that would be good. 
keep things organized. If I don't use it in my dorm, I can definitely use it at home because my drawers are kind of crazy. And this was also $10. It's a scarf organizer. It's like in the shape of a purse. So it just takes up the same amount of room that a hanger in your closet would. It has all these holes. You can put belts and scarves and stuff in them. I have so many scarves, especially because it's going to be fall soon. So I can just thread them through here and they'll be all organized. They won't get tangled or wrinkly because I normally just fold them up and put them in drawers. But I like this better. And then it doesn't take up, it only takes up as much room as, um, like one shirt that you would hang up. And then I got a surge protector, my zebra power strip. Ooh, it was on sale before, I swear it was like $15 and now it's 13. It's by the brand Kickerland. And I got it in zebra because my room at home is zebra and then I'm kind of doing my dorm room zebra E because that's just the stuff I have. And it's just so much fun to buy and I just like it. So, especially if you watch my first dorm haul, you know all my zebras, all my stuff, pretty much zebra, including the lamp that I'm using for lighting that's over in this direction. So if you haven't checked out that first video, definitely go ahead and do it. It's like all my organization stuff and like, um, well this is organization stuff too. I don't even remember what I did. I just have had so much like crap to buy for college. It's like this, but not as scatterbrained, you know? Because I only went to Target instead of all these different places. So here's the second rolling container that I already put my sheets in and they're all folded up. This was probably the most expensive thing, okay, second most expensive thing that I bought for my dorm. It was $60, but my mom got it because she thought it'd be worth it. I wouldn't have even thought to buy one of these, but it's a twin extra long allergy lux premium bed bug barrier mattress protector <laughs> designed for dorm room mattresses. So it's like waterproof and it protects your mattress from like everything. And it has odor neutralizing technology from Arm & Hammer. That's so gross. I don't even want to think about bed bugs. That's why I got this. That ugh, I ugh, ugh, I'm gonna like ugh. Trust me, I'm just thinking about it, guys. And this is probably one of my favorite things I got because it's a makeup organizer. When you watch people's makeup collections on YouTube, and they always have these, but I can never find them. Um, so this is debut by Danielle, cosmetic organizer. This was fifteen dollars, but I think it'll be well worth it. So I won't just have like a shoebox with like a cluster jumble of all my makeup stuff on my desk so it has a few small holes for lipstick but a lot of bigger compartments which I like for brushes or who knows what what would you put in this curved thing I guess they say like sponges but I don't use those I don't know that's gonna be interesting maybe I'll like stand up my single eyeshadows but I love this another really cool organizer I got I swear my dorm room is gonna be more organized than my homeroom is um homeroom huh middle school <laughs> by the Beverly Hills Organizer, $15, by Linda Cooper Smith, I don't know, I can't see it. So jewelry organizer, I've always wanted one of these. You can put like your watches on it and oh, it's soft, velvety beautifulness. And I can just put this on like my little shelf or my desk or whatever, put all my watches and bracelets on here and my necklaces and they'll just be nice and not tangly and they'll look gorgeous like they're from a jewelry store. And then I got these, we have these at home actually, they're cafe cups. Um, I got a four pack because this four pack was like $10, which was just as expensive as buying like one by itself was or something like that. Um, so it comes with four scoops and a, four cups and a scoop. So these are for Keurig, which I got and I'll show you guys next. Um, and it's basically so you don't have to rebuy the pods all the time and it's more eco-friendly so you can just keep reusing them and rinsing them and you use your own coffee grounds and I just bought um, a whole can of coffee beans from work because we have really good coffee and I just ground it and I'll just keep that in the fridge and then I can just scoop it into these and I don't have to buy the regular K cups even though I did buy some I don't, I don't know where they went um, just in case I don't feel like doing the grounds or like I can't wash those cups or for some reason. You gotta get some K-cups if you get a cure. You just gotta have the experience. Guys, if you wanna meet my baby, this is literally like the most exciting thing about college right now for me. Ah! So, I can't, this is on my lap right now, it's very uncomfortable. Okay, so I got my Keurig K-cup. Uh, this is the $120 one, I think. Cause it's not like the single serve one, like you can fit bigger cups in it, which my cousin recommended, cause you can put more water in it so you can um, fit a travel size mug up into it and stuff, which is important because I feel like I will not be drinking 
caffeinated beverages in my dorm room most, room most days. I'll just be brewing it and putting it in my travel mug and I'll be out the door because I have 8 a.m. classes. Oh God. This is the Elite 40 Automatic Gourmet Single Cup Home Brewing System. Um, brews in under a minute, which is faster than the other one. And also we had a 20% off any one item coupon which went towards this. So it was basically as much as the um, single serve one, which is $100. So it evens out in the end. It has an auto off feature. Look at all these brands of coffee you can make with it. Oh boy, I had the hardest time picking out K-Cups. They're literally all so delicious. There was like honey, cookie, biscotti, something yummy. Um, so choice of three cup sizes, quiet brew technology. So this is my favorite thing I bought ever. I used to only be a tea person and now I'm a coffee person, but this does both, so it's just perfect. So I won't have to trudge across campus to Dunkin' or Starbucks or I don't even know what we have every morning. And I can just make coffee in my own room and it'll be like a hotel room and then I won't have to boil water. I mean, this is just perfect. I always wanted one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it tomorrow and see if I can figure out how to use it before I leave on Friday. Apparently it comes with K-Cups. Enjoy a sampling of several blends in this bonus K-Cup variety pack. It has a 48 ounce water reservoir, which is bigger and allows you to use bigger mugs. All right, so let's open this baby up so we can see what kind of stuff it comes with. If I were you, that's what I would wanna know. Uh, all these flaps, oh my goodness. Is welcome, welcome to Keurig. This spontaneously turned into a Keurig unboxing video. Hey, there's an instruction manual, guys. That's kind of gross. So here's the sample. Ooh, comes with 12 K-cup portion packs. As I drop it, variety of 12 K-cup portion packs to get you started. Yay! And you just open it like a tea box. That's funny. So this is French roast by Tully's Coffee. Dark roast coffee, extra bold. That is gross. I don't like dark roast. I hope some of my roommates do because I can give that to them as a roommate present. Ooh, Van Hoot French Vanilla Light. I'll use that. Green Mountain Coffee, it's the good stuff. Nantucket Blend, medium roast. Celestial Seasonings, Sleepy Time Herbal Tea, Caffeine Free. Oh, I love that stuff. Green Mountain Coffee, Breakfast Blend, Light Roast Coffee. Barista Prima Coffee House Italian Roast. Is that dark or medium? Or I should know that because I just did a whole research project on Starbucks and all their blends. Um, Decaffeinated Colombian Timothy's. That sounds fancy. Gloria Jean's Coffee Hazelnut. Hate hazelnut. I could just like make my roommate a little like gift package of all these I don't want. Newman's Own Organics. Newman's Special Blend. Medium roast coffee, extra bold. How can it be extra bold? It's medium roast. The original donut shop, donut shop coffee, medium roast, extra bold. At least it's cute. Emerald, Emerald makes coffee, mom. Big easy bold, big easy intense. And then Green Mountain coffee, Nantucket blend. There are two of these, they cheated. Other than that, there are no repeats. One of my friends actually gave me these. They're so cute. A Hello Kitty notebook. Ah, ah, ah. I love these. They have like the, I had one of these last year from Walmart and it like held up better than any of my other notebooks. And a Hello Kitty folder. This is my first folder. Oh, I need folders. Oh man. And then some smooth writing comfort grip black ballpoint pens that are pink. Yeah. Okay guys, are you ready for the speed round? This is probably the longest haul video ever by now. All right. Little sample packs of cereal, multi-pack of tampies, calcium vitamins, makeup removing wipes, pads, more pads, CVS gummies, designer Cynthia Rowley band-aids, because these were the cheapest ones, and look how freaking cute! <laughs> Q-tips for all my mascara blunders, including dropping Q-tips everywhere. <laughs> Pirate's bootay, cliff bars, yeah! Pop up bowl! So, and then this. Okay, for the longest time, I cannot, ooh, oops, decide. Squishy, by the way. If I wanted a hamper or a laundry basket or a laundry bag. And everyone told me to get a laundry basket, but I really wanted a pink one. And Bed Bath & Beyond didn't have any, and I was already there, and I didn't have time to go anywhere else. So, 
I got this like basket squishy hamper thing and it's relatively easy to carry and it was like nine bucks um, so I think this will be good it'll be easy to carry to the laundry room then when I'm done I can just fold things up and put them back in there and then it won't take up as much floor space as a laundry basket would so I think that's everything except not really because there's so much stuff you guys I don't think you understand how much stuff I need oh it's crazy so that will conclude college dorm haul part two and I just remember two whole shopping bags full of stuff I didn't haul in this video so I'm gonna go make a part three right now so go check out that go check out part one subscribe if you'd like because now I'm just a poor little college girl hoping to make her way in the world and your subscription would mean a lot to me and also leave me comments and like this video and do fun stuff like that because I like when you do that all right off to film Pilm, pilm. I'm off to pilm part three. Bye!